Hi, Danny here with some hot tips on choosing a sofa. As the uh, manager of the Melbourne showroom, I can attest that this is quite a confusing subject and quite divisive when it comes to couples. The first sofa I'm going to talk about is uh, looking at doing a modular or a sectional. Wonderful to be able to break them up when you've got guests over so you're not all sitting in a row like a death squad situation or trying to turn to the person next to you. You're able to separate them, put a little table in between. Very adaptable and very handy. This is the Berkshire sectional and this has removable covers so extra bonus for that and you can also have right left hand facing and you can put a ottoman at the end and make it into a chaise if you're like me and you like to be super loungy on your sofa. Comfort levels is definitely in the top three questions that we get in the showrooms. The thing about finding a comfortable seat is there are a lot of options on the market. We see feather uh, wrapped around foam which gives you that beautiful fluffy softness like a cloud but it also has the structure underneath of the foam and then we have pure feather which gives you that real cloud like really comfortable snuggly um, feel and then it also we just have straight foam which is really good for something a bit more structured and formal looking so there are a few different options out there for you and it is something that we see uh, some debates over but um, more often than not people tend to go for the uh, foam with the feather wrap on it because it really is the best of both worlds. When it comes to choosing the size of your sofa if you are in a small space say an apartment um, try and look for sofas that have a slim profile arm that's going to give you the illusion of a smaller sofa. With the depth of a sofa um, they don't really change too much sofa to sofa so it's really looking at that front on angle what's going to appear a little bit smaller. If you've got the luxury of space, you could look at something with a beautiful curved arm. This is the Taylor sofa um, or some of the sofas that have a little bit of a thicker arm. And of course, if you've got the space in your home, go big, choose your focal point. That's we're here to help you um, show you where to put all of your furniture pieces. But bigger scale pieces in big rooms work better. Um, bigger scale with less items in there tends to give us a better overall look and always Remember, you can go back to using uh, small ottomans that can just be moved around the house uh, for extra seating if you are in a smaller space. As a pet owner, a dog owner, I can definitely sympathise with this one. Uh, try to choose a fabric that is going to be easy to clean or easier to clean. The first option we would suggest is getting a sofa with a removable cover, such as our Berkshire sofa, which comes in um, multiple different colours. Uh, second to that would be choosing a fabric that's easy to wipe down, a forgiving fabric like a velvet um, or a velvet blend. It could be a microfiber or a heavy canvas. They're the fabrics that are going to be easy for you to get the baby wipes. Plain unscented baby wipes are your best friend when you've got little ones in the house, grandkids or children or pets. Um, it's a nice way. They use it in fashion as well into getting um, grime, makeup stains and stuff off. And obviously fabric protect your sofa. One final note is make sure that you have measured your access points into your home. Whether it's an apartment, make sure that the lift access is going to fit your sofa or doorways and stairwells if you're looking at going into a house. It does happen that uh, pieces just simply cannot fit in. If that's the case, you may need to consider getting a modular sofa that will be delivered in um, sections or you could look at a low backed sofa with removable feet to be able to get it in. So it is something, unfortunately, that we do see in this industry. Um, so just please make sure that you do those measurements before you part with your hard earned cash.